Hi everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to make some wild leek compound butter. So nothing says spring like wild leeks popping up in the forest, which is happening right now all over Southern Ontario and probably all over lots of places in the United States and Canada. And while I absolutely love working with wild leeks and we'll get into the culinary aspects and what they look like and how to harvest them in just a minute, it's really important for me to mention that wild leeks in my area, do some research about your area, are either on the endangered or watch list. I haven't actually double checked that this year. They oscillate between those two. Um, but either way, because we know they're either endangered or very close to being endangered, we have to treat them with the utmost care. This means ethical wild harvesting. And so what often happens is that when things become trendy, like wild foods and foraging, the trend moves faster than the knowledge and people are harvesting them incorrectly and they're over harvesting in areas. So it's really important that you follow some ethical wild harvesting rules. So what does this mean? This means that you're not going to be going on to provincial land or any conservation land, any land you're not supposed to be on don't be harvesting from there. And that includes sneaking onto farmers' properties and that kind of thing. We're not condoning this at all. Secondly, we wanna make sure that we're not taking more than we need. So for today's recipe, I really only need about 10 to 12 leaves and that's it. Thirdly, we're not going to stress out the population by taking too much. So in one bunch of wild leeks, you maybe need one leaf. That's all you wanna take. And we don't wanna take more than we need. They don't store very well unless you're going to be making like a compound butter like this. So don't come home with baskets and baskets full if you don't have any idea of what you're going to do with them. So now that I've kind of gone into some ethical wild harvesting, um, just be aware that a colony of wild leeks takes a long time to establish. So be very cognizant when you're harvesting these plants. And if it's a small little patch, leave it alone. Come back in a few years, find somewhere else to do your wild harvesting. So I've been very blessed and fortunate that um, quite a few of my students have brought me these nice, beautiful, large chunks of wild leeks over the years. So we actually have quite a few of these naturalized all in this wooded area here. But like I said, my colony is very, very small. So I'm just gonna make, in order to preserve that beautiful flavor of wild leeks that I'm, I would love to be able to have lots of, I'm gonna make butter. And then I can use it in um, recipes. I can have it on like fresh bread, all different, any way that you would use butter, you could use a compound butter. So when you're harvesting, one of the things that I see all the time is people are yanking up the entire wild leek to get that little onion bulb at the bottom. And that's completely unnecessary. And it also really stresses out the species and of course kills the plant. So what I do and what I recommend is that you just take a pair of scissors and you harvest a single leaf. So in this grouping here, I would only take one leaf. And like I said, I'm making about a half a pound of compound butter today. So I want about 10 to 12 wild leeks. That's it, that's all you need. And you can preserve the flavor of your wild leeks in a butter that you can use all year round. So I've got about a dozen wild leek leaves here. As you see, I just harvested the leaf. I left the bulb intact. This will allow the colony to grow and spread over the years. And then I can enjoy wild leeks for years to come. And that's the whole point of ethical wild harvesting. Going in and wiping out the whole crop means you only really get to enjoy it once. Plus, it doesn't really make us very good stewards of the land now, does it? So we're gonna head inside with our leeks and we'll be making up our compound butter. So we're in the kitchen and we're going to be making some wild leek compound butter. So what you need for this recipe is some butter of your choice. We like using unsalted organic or grass fed if we can find it, but use whatever works for you and your family. I have 250 grams here, which is just over half a pound. And for that, I have wild harvested. Well, I guess not really wild because it's off my property, but you get the idea. I've harvested about a dozen large wild leek leaves. You're going to need a little bit of lemon juice. It really helps to have a good spatula like this for scraping your butter out afterwards. I also have a knife just in case and you're going to need a food processor. I have not tried this with a blender, so I can't speak to that. I feel like it would be a pretty big mess, but you can give it a try. 
Um, you could also do this by hand with a lot of elbow grease. You would have to finely chop the wild leeks if you want to do it by hand. So I'm just going to take my butter and I'm going to dump it into the food processor. Oh, and afterwards you will need either wax paper or parchment paper. Um, and I'll show you the best way to store it um, once you've finished making your butter. So I'm just going to dump the whole half pound right into the food processor. Make a nice big old mess. It should be softened and at room temperature or else this will be much more difficult. And then I'll just use my knife to kind of break it up into smaller pieces. My food processor is old, so I don't like to stress her out too much. All right. And I'm also going to use some scissors and just roughly chop up my wild leeks. I find that it blends up a little faster that way. So just gonna chop up my leeks. And some people like to add salt and pepper to their wild leek compound butters. You can do that too if you'd like. I recommend tasting a little bit of it first to see if it's necessary. If you're using salted butter, don't add any more salt. You probably won't need to. I just like to use the lemon juice, the leeks, and the butter personally. And then you're gonna need about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And if you happen to have access to lemons, you can actually grate some lemon zest into it as well. It makes it really lovely. So again, this is for half a pound of butter. I'm adding about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then all you need to do from here is blend. So I'm probably gonna turn the camera off for that because it gets really, really loud, but you just want to blend it until you have a really nice uniform texture and you see that the wild leeks have been chopped finely and incorporated well into the butter. So I've got the butter all blended up. As you saw in the last segment, you'll, you're gonna have to scrape it a few times just to make sure those leaves get chopped up well. It smells so good. So what you wanna do now is using your spatula, you wanna put it onto some parchment paper. And you're gonna have to get your hands a little dirty. That's all right. What I like to do is sort of preserve this in segments. So what I'll first do is try to form in kind of like a log sort of shape and put it in the fridge. And then from there, I will actually cut out segments and individually wrap them and then freeze them. Compound butter is going to last about as long as butter does. So you've, you've got a few months and if you sort of want to spread out the deliciousness of your wild leek butter, that's why I freeze it in segments. I'll never go through, I mean, there's only three of us in the family. We don't go through that much butter that quickly, especially a flavored butter like this. So I really like to break it up into smaller chunks for preservation. And you can use um, parchment paper for that or once it's um, been in the fridge and hardened, you can just store it in little glass containers and then take it out when you need it. So how would you use a compound, a wild leek compound butter? You, just on fresh bread, is absolutely amazing. You can use this in replacement of what you use butter for naturally, obviously in savory dishes. So stir fries, um, sauteing up some vegetables, like sauteing up some fresh spring nettles with some wild leek butter would be delicious. You could use this to make grilled cheese sandwiches. If you like to eat steak, and you like to do your steak on cast iron with butter, you could use wild leek butter. I mean, really the limits of use on this are the limits of your imagination. So go wild with it. So my next step is going to be, to, like I said, to try to form this into some sort of like a log shape and then put it in the fridge to harden it. Once it's hardened, I'll come back and we can film that portion and I'll show you how I cut it up and freeze it after that. So my butter's been in the fridge for about 40 minutes and it's nice and hard, so it's a little easier to work with this way. Don't freeze it because butter, of course, frozen is almost impossible to cut up into smaller portions. So definitely tuck it in the fridge first. And the last step for me is going to be um, cutting it into portions that I think we'll use up before the butter goes bad. So remember, look at that color, hey? So I did my best to fold it into a log shape. And what I'm going to do is cut it into four pieces. So roughly 
in half, and then each one of those halves again in half. And to me, this is like a decent amount of butter that we will use, but it won't go bad in my fridge. And then I'm choosing to freeze it in these little Pyrex containers. So that's the last step um, in terms of preservation. If you go through a lot of butter in your family or maybe you wanna cook with it often, you may not have to take this step. But for me, it definitely makes sense to freeze it into smaller portions. So the color of the butter just turned out absolutely amazing. You can see the little flecks of wild leek in there. And uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. It tastes absolutely amazing. So thank you so very much for joining me on this video and this wild leek adventure. I hope you enjoyed making your compound butter. If you like my content, I would greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And until next time, this is Corinne from Spirea Herbs, wishing you health and wellness.